Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks Ideas Without Boundaries. Now, India's rural economy suffers from several deficiencies. Lack of infrastructure, lack of access to markets and a lack of information. Our next entrepreneur is trying to bridge the gap at least as far as information is concerned. So he launched his company called Agrocom which basically hopes to answer all the unanswered questions if you are a farmer. So far he's touched the lives of about 2 lakh farmers in 15 states and he hopes to do a turnover of 5 crore rupees by 2012. Here's the story of Agrocom. 32-year-old Anil Bahuman is hoping to relieve the stress farmers face every year as they wait for the seasons to change. So armed with a degree in artificial intelligence from the University of Georgia in the United States, Anil along with Dr. Kirti Ramamritham developed Aqua or almost all questions answered in 2003. Connecting agricultural experts to rural farmers through his innovation, Anil co-founded Agrocom, a spin-off from IIT Bombay that's been replicating the Aqua model in 15 states since 2006. The venture has also installed 30 weather monitoring stations in Nasik and Mumbai and today reaches out to 2 lakh farmers. But offering solutions to this diverse underserved market has its own challenges. Acquiring uh, agri-experts within the public extension system is something which uh, uh, we do uh, one by one, we move from state to state. Uh, a lot of this also uh, depends on uh, the roles of the local agri-university, the roles of the uh, local farmer outreach center. Uh, it also depends on the kind of uh, uh, infrastructure they already have. It also depends on the access to resources which they have. So this is uh, uh, one of the challenges. Uh, the other challenge, of course, is, is uh, uh, to reach uh, farmers uh, who are spread out across the country uh, and who are so uh, diverse in uh, the, the needs they have. And that's a huge challenge. And solving this problem is a qualified team of 60 agricultural experts serving 8,000 online agrarian users across 450 districts in India. In collaboration with Prishi Vigyan Kendra in Baramati and Vigyan Ashram in Pabal, the experts answer all agri-related queries within 24 hours and the service is available in five different languages. So how does the network operate? If the farmers is asking a question in Uttarakhand, there would be experts in uh, Panthagir University and nearby as well as experts in Karnataka, in Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra who will be looking at the question they would attempt uh, to give uh, an answer. They would then f usually further research the answer by consulting other experts, by consulting uh, other organizations over the phone, and they would give an answer which is of immediate use to the farmer. The farmer might clarify by asking additional questions. Experts may clarify by also calling the farmer or asking additional questions. This process goes on until uh, the farmer is satisfied with his answer. Not just internet services, Agrocom also provides farmers weather updates on their mobile or landline phones. Providing weather dependent crop loss data and disease forecasts, Agrocom has also had 500 farmers in Nasik save almost 10 crore rupees in 2008. But how does the venture sustain itself? We make revenues in uh, uh, software licensing, in content licensing, in, uh, in services which include uh, training and content delivery to the farmer phone. Um, so uh, in the first category of uh, products, what we do is uh, uh, we work with clients who want to uh, implement software on their end uh, or who want to use content uh, either with their own uh, farmers or internally within their organization uh, with their own experts. Uh, and in case of the content delivery and training, what we do is we work with uh, uh, a client which has, let's say, a large number of farmers and they want us to uh, develop a specific curriculum uh, in which we would be training the farmers over distance learning. Uh, we would do that. Or we could uh, give them uh, training modules which uh, uh, would, could be used in face-to-face uh, -face sessions for training farmers. 
With initial investments of 1 lakh rupees, Agrocom today operates on 33% profit margins. And this success rate has earned the company laurels. Honored with the month and award for best e-content in 2005 under the e-inclusion category, Agrocom was also awarded the most inspiring young company at the Pan IIT Business Plan Competition at IIT Chennai in 2008. With plans to gross revenue. 5 crore rupees by 2012, Anil is looking at a pan India presence for this venture. We are looking at spreading uh, the aqua model into uh, all the uh, states in southern India and then also moving into um, states north of Maharashtra. Um, uh, we are also looking at working with uh, uh, telecom providers to tap. Uh, farmers who are now being sold uh, farmer phones. Uh, this is a new opportunity where uh, customized applications apart from SMS and voice can now be tried out and you can actually have applications in the hands of farmers. We see this as a huge opportunity. Um, in addition, uh, we are looking at improving the uh, quality of content uh, provided in this sector. Uh, there are a lot of uh, players who are uh, providing content but not a lot of this content is actually not available on the net or it's not available for peer review. So we are working with uh, institutes such as ICRISAT in creating uh, a con uh, content editorial team so to ensure that uh, the, the kind of advisory which goes to farmers is something which has been uh, reviewed by uh, several experts and is also available in an archive which can be searched anytime in the future. More power to you, Anil. Time for us to take a break.